So I'm glad you clicked on that thumbnail. If you did, that either means that you are still fall decorating or you just wanted to see little old me. <laughs> either way, you're gonna enjoy this video, so keep on watching. channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always be up to date with my latest tutorials okay number one before we get into this video uh the lighting is cringeworthy so just don't just no number two uh ABC family slash I don't know what it's called anymore I think it's like spe it's, it's not spectrum it's like forum or something i don't know the old abc family they will be playing hocus pocus on repeat on halloween so make sure you're watching it you're welcome in advance and today's video is going to be my last fall diy and then i will be bringing you guys christmas and winter videos so i hope you guys are ready for that so in this video we're going to be doing two crafts and the first craft of course is going to be like just making um, a standalone kind of piece that you can add to your home for your fall decor for the remainder of fall. And then the second one is just gonna be woodworking and we're just going to be making like a wall decor piece using the exact same things, just switching it around a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoy these DIYs. So let's get started. The main materials you're gonna need for this project are three willow wreaths, wood adhesive shapes, one one by three by eight board, wood stain, twine, wood pumpkin ornament, and sawtooth hangers. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your three wreaths and you're gonna start to interlock them in together so that you will create a sphere. Now when you're creating your sphere, you just wanna um, make sure that you have a base to where this won't roll. It might take you a couple of tries because it will be a little bit slippery, but you will get it in the end. Okay, so now the next step is taking our pumpkin ornament and I'm going to be using my favorite marker pen and covering up these uh, permanent marker marks because I actually use this in a different fall craft. So if you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked up above, but I'm just going to start to um, take my pen and cover up all of those marks. All right, so now I'm just going to take a piece of twine and I'm going to tie my pumpkin into the center of my sphere. Now this is going to help the sphere stay into place and also, of course, we're just gonna use this so that our pumpkin can dangle in the center. So now I'm gonna take those burlap leaves and I'm just going to stick them into the center of the sphere and after you start sticking them in, you can just rearrange them to your liking. Now I'm gonna come outside and I'm gonna spray paint a stick that I found outside and we're gonna use this as the stem for our pumpkin. Now after that has dried, I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm going to add that stem to the top of my sphere and I'm also gonna take some twine and I'm going to wrap it around that base so that it can secure it in place. So now the last step to our first project is taking our fall wood adhesive and gluing it to the front and the back of the pumpkin and then this craft is finished. So now for the second craft, I'm going to start working on the back portion of our project that will actually be hanging the pumpkin on. So I'll, here I'm just cutting all of my wood down to the size that I need. And as always, I will have these measurements down below. So now I'm going to take my clamp and I'm going to clamp the wood together and I'm going to add the top and bottom trim using my nail gun. Oh, 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 oh,
Now I'm just gonna take my wood stain, which I'm using dark walnut, and I'm going to stain my wood. So now I'm gonna come back to my miter saw and I'm gonna cut the back half off of my sphere here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my miter saw. And if you do use your miter saw, just be really, 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 really careful when you do this. But if you don't use your miter saw, you can use um, a hacksaw or you can use your like garden shear clippers. So after we've cut that pumpkin in half, I'm just going to drill a hole and I'm going to add a hook to the back. And this hook is going to be where we hang our pumpkin. So this part is optional, but I'm just going to add some twine to the top and the bottom of my backing and depending on how long you cut your boards you can add these or you can just leave it plain now the last step to this project is just adding our sawtooth hanger to the back and then you're gonna be all finished that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think and i will see you in my next one bye